What up, my zillions? I am back on YouTube with a giant light in my face. You, 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 you are too much. You are too much light. Let's just do it like that so we get some more light in here. So, how's it going, folks out there? I am back, like I said. I've been kind of in and out this week. Didn't get too many reviews done. Got a really cool top five video done at the top of the week, which was awesome. Um, but this week has been inundated with work and uh, partially still uh, ongoing sickness in this house. Uh, my wife's actually been sick for like three weeks. Uh, her... She got a little worse. She's she's better now, but you know, Ultrazol Junior is good. But yeah, it's been kind of one of those that's just like been up and down. So I've been up and down from my studio uh, to my apartment and whatnot. That has led me with you know the all the work I've had to do to just kind of lay low a little bit, just you know trickle out some stuff this week. It is what it is. I know it's like a couple of weeks where it's been like this, so. Yeah, you know, it's been one of those. But in the last day or so, man, have we been getting hit hard with a lot of Toy Fair news already. Stuff trickling out there, and not even trickling, some companies just opening the floodgates uh, and just going to town with like a lot of the news. Um, there you go, you can see the, the my background. <laughs> um, you know, like, it, it's it's nuts. First off, uh, one thing I want to mention, the ha if you don't know this yet, Hasbro Toy Shop is now called Hasbro, Pul Pl Hasbro Pulse, um, which has always been kind of their, like, social media, um, like, section, you know. And, uh, you know, they launched their new website. You could pre-order on there now. You could do, you know, you could get a bunch of stuff. I pre-ordered a bunch of stuff this morning. Um, uh, Transformers Siege Wave 2. Um, I actually just reviewed this guy earlier, so he will be uh, finally reviewed something. It's not up yet. I, I haven't done any editing. That won't be uh, till Monday, but this guy will launch like new reviews on Monday, which I'm happy about. You know, finally get some uh, more reviews up. You know, at least I got that started. But Hasbro Pulse is big, big news because they're doing a lot of cool stuff there. If you, they're doing kind of like a subscription service where you, if you join, it's free shipping all year. It's going to be 50 bucks. However, if you buy something now, between now and I believe it's February 24th, please check the website to make sure. Um you get that first year free. So that's pretty awesome. You're going to get in on exclusives early. Um, so that's cool. And there's going to be extra deals if you are a premium member. You know, uh, I bought. I was going to buy something, so I did it. They also revealed a Ghostbusters Ecto-1 that's a Transformer. That is very awesome. Very awesome. You know, like, I am really into that. I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan, and that is something uh, that I need to have. Um, not related, but right at right now in stores. Speaking of Ghostbusters, is Diamond Select Toys' new Ghost, real Ghostbusters line. I'm planning to get the uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man as soon as I can, uh, <laughs> and uh, review it for you guys here. I know there's gonna be a lot of like crossover with. Uh, I'm ready to get warm here. Uh, a lot of crossover with a lot of folks that like kaiju stuff. Um, so, you guys that want a giant, you know, your giant Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, this might be something cool to have. Uh, I am going to turn on my uh, computer here onto my screen so I can see if anybody's talking here. Kaiju Dork, Steven, how are you guys? You pre order a box of Star Wars figures. I'm still mad about a price hike for the Droid Army building. That's going to be only on, like, online sellers. I don't know what they're doing. Honestly, I think it's it sucks. I saw BBDS doing it. I don't know if, like, Dorkside Toys did that as well, but they upped the price of the Battle Droid is what we're talking about, Star Wars Black Series and the Battle Droid. Um, that's not cool. It was, like, 30 bucks on BBTS. No way. There's no way I'll ever get that. Um, 
But I love battle droids, and that's something I want. Even though I'm probably going to be scaling down a lot on Star Wars Black Series. To make room for the Lightning Collection uh, from Hasbro as well. Uh, they started showing off Wave 1, which has Lord Dread in it, and Dino Charge uh, Red, and one other besides the White Ranger. Those look really awesome. I can't wait to get there. So I got a lot of stuff to unbox. I actually have a bunch of boxes, a bunch of bags, and um, just a bunch of stuff that I've gotten in this week, including today, that I just have not, I've not been able to open it. Like after getting in a few things early this week, and I was like, I just had no time to open it. I was just like, you know what? This is going to be good stuff to get out there and, uh, uh, you know, like do something like this because I want to talk Toy Fair and I want to open some stuff. So why don't we open one thing here, you know, get it going while we're like talking about stuff. Um, so the first thing I got is I got, and I got it at, and I want to show you guys in Brooklyn here, uh, from this place called Near Guard Pharmacy, which actually has like a total toy section um, up above them, you know, and early this week, I went near there, and I don't get there too often, but I went near there, and they had the new wave of the NECA Kenner-styled, uh, uh, Terminator figures, and now I haven't gotten a Terminator figure, honestly, so, I, but this one really did it for me, this is like the, what's it called, the Power Arm Terminator, which is like a Kenner tribute, and I remember those figures, Man, those were like crazy. It's the only one I got. They also had the, the white hot T-1000 and the metal mesh endoskeleton. I didn't get any of those, but I needed to get a <laughs> an Arnie with this crazy power arm uh, version of him. Uh, and I think it looks really, really cool. I'm trying to spread the word about this as well that I'm out there. Um, but this looks really nice. Let's open this guy up. Take a look. I've been really curious all week long <laughs> about this to see it a little closer up. That looks pretty cool. That looks re really nice, actually. I, I dig the way this looks. Where's my knife here? So, I, I like that. But while we're talking about that, NECA revealed, uh, today... That they're doing the Shape of Water um, Amphibian Man, which looks fantastic. If you haven't seen pics of that, uh, check out my Facebook page. That looks really, really cool. Uh, I actually haven't seen the movie. So, that's it's something I want, but, you know, uh, because I just like the way it looks. You know, sometimes, a lot of times I do that. Uh, but it's it's a Guillermo del Toro movie and something I'm gonna watch eventually. I just haven't gone around to it. Now, why on earth would they put their the feet on this guy through these? It's like they like want it to break here. That is some crazy crazy packaging. He comes with the power arm thing there and an extra regular arm if you want it. I want to move these guys gingerly because uh, like you know. Sometimes out of the package, the NECAs uh, tend to be a little little not so hot. So you got to heat them up a little bit. But that looks awesome. <laughs> um, I really like the way this looks a lot. This is uh, something really, really cool here. Looking good. Looking good. It looks, it looks cool. It's like Arnie, but like this crazy. He's got the crazy colored shirt and stuff. So NECA revealed that. Uh, Shape of Water thing. They also revealed, and here's a little Michael Myers from my last unboxing uh, from NECA. I'm going to review this guy as well shortly. Um, a clothed version of that. You know how they do those clothed toys. So, yep, this is the first thing out of the box, out of its packaging, the Terminator. Um, so that's the first thing there. But, you know, NECA's revealing a bunch of stuff. They got more stuff to come. Lots to, to come from NECA. I can't wait to see what they got. I will be at Toy Fair. Didn't mention that yet, but um, if you, I've, I've mentioned it on uh, multiple platforms. I will be at Toy Fair this weekend. I am going to be on the show floor tomorrow uh, where I'll be taking pics of, like, you know, the NECA stuff, Mezco, DST, Dime, uh, that's Diamond Collect, Select Toys, um, uh, DC Collectibles, uh, Tamashi, Storm Collectibles, everybody that's like in the Bluefin booth. I actually have a meeting with Bluefin, uh, and then I'll be talking to DST folks 
uh, as well as the uh, uh, DC Comics folks. So I have a lot of things to do there. Expect pics on my Instagram, so go check out the pics on my Instagram t starting tomorrow at some point. And then also um, uh, on here, I will be posting any short videos. I Like I, if you've ever seen my uh, convention coverage is here. A lot of like short, short videos, just getting in there and, and uh, taking some film. And I'll get as much uh, out as possible. Sometimes you can't take pics. Sometimes you can't take videos of certain things. But I try my best to do as many as possible. So stay tuned to my Instagram, which will translate into my Facebook as well as here. Um, so it should be cool. I'm looking forward to that. Then on Sunday, now everybody, you know, a lot of the, the big bigger name reviewers and, you know, personalities in Toy World here. Uh, we'll get to go to Hasbro tomorrow to their big fan event, but I will be on the show floor tomorrow. I will get to go for the first time ever to Hasbro showroom, which is off-site, but I'm going on Sunday. I have an appointment on Sunday. That's going to be awesome. I am really, really looking forward to checking out the Hasbro showroom for the first time to check out the new Lightning Collection stuff from Power Rangers, as, as well as the Power Ranger new Mega Zords and stuff. Anything Marvel Legends, which they've announced some stuff already. Today. Not really announced, but it's been leaked out already. Like uh, all the Avengers, original Avengers stuff, and uh, Hulk and Wolverine uh, original stuff. Those look really cool. This is gonna be, I'm going to check out Star Wars Black series. All that stuff. Transformers, of course. Uh, see what we got new from Studio Series and Siege and uh, whatever else we got, you know. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, let's see what people are saying. Let's see. I wonder if they're making Annabelle figures the, the size of Chucky. That would be interesting at the NECA stuff. I'll, I'll, I'm will i going to check out what they got, you know. I'll see what they, they got showing. Uh, and I'll probably have some questions for them. But it's we'll see how that goes, you know. Sometimes... You gotta have an appointment to really, really talk to them. But you could go in and, uh, you know, like, take pics of everything that's out there. With some exceptions, you know. So it'll be interesting. I'm really looking forward to the NECA stuff. There's gonna be some NECA Godzilla stuff that I really want to see. McFarlane toys will be interesting. Um, I will probably be able to see the booth. I know I was last year and I got some good pics. But at the same time, they don't allow everyone within without an appointment. And they usually just do appointments for, like, buyers and certain people. So it's... You don't always see a lot of, like, stuff trickling out from McFarlane right away. Um, but I'll see what I could see. Like, uh, you know... And we'll see, you know. Uh, I'm going to do my best. Just stay tuned. And uh, I will do my best. Well, speaking of NECA, I have another NECA product right here. And shout out to uh, Galaxy Comics uh, here in Brooklyn Park Slope because I've been looking for this and they had it. I got the Pan's Labyrinth uh, Pale Man here. Speaking of Guillermo del Toro. So very cool looking. Um, it's a little more expensive than the normal Nekits, but it's a big box, and it's got the throne and stuff in there. It looks fantastic. I mean, it really, really does. I loved this movie. Where did I put my knife? <laughs> so let's take a quick peek at that. I'm not going to take them all completely out here. I'm a, he's a little spindly, so I'm a little afraid uh, not to, you know, do it carefully. You know what I'm saying, guys? So let me go. We could take a look at him a little closer. Creepy. My wife said, if I get this, do not bring it in the house proper. So. <laughs> um, but it looks incredible. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to a lot of what NECA is going to be showing. They've been doing some really cool licenses. Um, so, yeah, definitely into this. Gonna be looking forward to like what Mezco does. They always have something really interesting and cool. Last year was the King Kong stuff. Um, that was first shown uh, there at Toy Fair. I was the first person to show pics of that. Um, so let's see what I could see again. I'm not gonna again. I'm not gonna take this guy completely out. Uh, he's not really like a dynamic figure or anything. So, but I did want to show you guys that. So it looks really cool. That's the second thing there. 
what else is happening in the world? What what are you guys uh, what are you guys looking forward to from Toy Fair? You think maybe Tamashi is gonna have some uh, new stuff out there? I think so. Um, and they'll they'll definitely be showing a few new things. Last year we got the first wind of the Voltron Super Mini Pla. Um, you weren't able to take pictures of it, but I did. Um, uh, so there'll be, uh, it'll be a lot of interesting stuff out there. I know Storm Collectibles has been like showing off a few teasers today. They got the Darkstalkers uh, license, which I think it looks. Yeah, I mean, it could be really cool. There's some really cool characters that were designed for Darkstalkers, um, and that that could be a really cool translation. I know they just announced Gears of War figures. So these guys, uh, Storm Collectibles, they're expanding from uh, just doing the fighting figures. And I'll be looking forward to seeing what they got. Uh, I've kind of slowed down a lot and almost to nothing on Storm Collectibles. But there's a few licenses that they have that I'm definitely going to be getting in the future. Like the Injustice stuff, I definitely want that Lobo they, they've teased. Um, so yeah, I want to get stuff. Well, speaking of Kamashi... I believe this is the Tamashi product. I already, when I ripped off the tag off this, I actually ripped open the box by mistake. But this is as far as I went here. I got this next thing from Xavier Cal Customs and Collectibles, um, who's a really good customizer and a, a really, really cool, cool guy, seemingly. Um, and he had a third anniversary sale this past week. Uh, congrats to them for being around for three years. And um, he had something I really wanted to check out on sale. Uh, really, really on sale. This is the high metal Zabungle uh, government type walker machine. This is a cool looking bot that I've had some interest in in a little while. And they had it for like 35 bucks. I think that has to be like, I don't know, more than 50% off. Um, it, it, I think. <laughs> I think on Hobby Link Japan, it was like 80 bucks. You know, so that we, you know, without shipping, this was like free shipping. Um, so I, I, I had to jump when I saw that he had, when he was like selling this. I guess he just. It was a really good sale. I felt like it was like the best thing that he had on sale. Let's check this guy out. Really cool. Really quick. Very nice. I feel some die cast on the feet already. That's pretty cool. Really cool looking bot. Check that guy out. What do you guys think? It looks pretty awesome. He's got some extras in here. There's some little people. <laughs> um, this is nice looking. This is really nice looking. I do have the... Like, the actual, there's a bungle here. I, I've, I'm probably bungling how to say that. Uh, so, I really, uh, I, and I've really barely played with this thing. So, now that I got this dude, I could really take a look at that one a little further now. That looks really awesome. I'm going to have stuff, I'm going to have to dig myself out of here. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, let's get this box out of here. I got two things from Amazon this week. I have no idea which is which. And this kind of... We'll see what it is first. One, I got completely on Prime Points. And this is it. Um, so this is, the, this is actually the first thing that came in this week. And this is the... Uh, speaking of Tamashi. The Robot Spirits Darling in the Franks. Franks. Uh, Shrutz... Strelzia, Strelzia, is that how you say it? Um, I've only seen the first few episodes of this, but on Crunchyroll. But this is it seemed pretty cool, and this robot is I, I just dug the way it looked. Um, I, I haven't gotten the Darling figure yet. Uh, it's an SH figure arts. So I kind of want to, um, but I kind of just maybe might be just in it for the bot. I don't know. If I see a sale on that one, maybe. But I've had this guy on my cart on Amazon for a little while. Like, you know, waiting for a moment where I I had points, but and I had nothing really else to spend them on, you know? Like, so he's been out for a few months. Or she, I should say she. It's like a female-looking bot. Uh, 
Ooh, I don't want to lose the little hand. It just fell on my lap. There it is. Um, so I really wanted to check this out because it looked really interesting and the shoulder pad just fell off. Um, these shoulder pads are barely on. Uh, it's very spindly. Very, <laughs> very weird and spindly looking bot. Um, let's see. I, I see where it goes. This is like, yep, barely on there on these ball joints. There we go. That's tighter. I don't want to lose anything off the box either. It's on my lap. But there you go. There's some really cool um, robot spirits coming out in the near future. Uh, the Sarge. That is something I'm going to be getting. Uh, if couple others that have like caught my eye i like the like a little bit weirder different bots you know less gun to me i guess uh when they do those i think they look cool this is really nice looking i really dig how this looks it's a really really nice looking robot that's that's pretty that's a pretty cool little robot very nice and and i got it I didn't get it completely on points. I said I got it completely on points. I did not actually. I did pay a little bit, but it was like something like 11 bucks. Uh, and it's usually like 40 or so. That's pretty good. So let's do the other uh, Amazon box here. And these are Transformers. So these came in this week in Amazon finally. Although I did see at the end of last week, but too late that they were up. But I, I guess I missed that first little drop. I got a couple of the Studio Series Transformers, and I got Barricade, and Sideswipe from the movies. Um, very cool. I mean, I really want the Barricade for a while, like some version of Barricade, and I, I, really, uh, I, I really love how Sideswipe looks in the movies. Sideswipe's just a cool character. Uh, where, where, wherever he goes. Here is Barricade. So, I skipped out. And I'm going to be skipping out a lot more on, on certain um, Studio Series things. Just because there's so much coming out, guys. Uh, and the Siege figures have done it for me a lot more than I originally thought they would have. I really thought I was just going to be collecting... Uh, the Studio Series stuff, but with the Siege Series stuff being so good, like, I just, you know, I just, I've gravitated more to collecting that line. The things I know I'm definitely going to get on the Hasbro Pulse today, I did pick up the uh, Leader Class Megatron, uh, the one with the hood and stuff when he transforms into the truck. So that hopefully is going to be coming soon, and because that's that was in stock. Uh, so hopefully I get that one soon, and then, um, uh, I definitely want to get the Bumblebee movie, uh, Prime, whenever that shows up somewhere, as well as, I know some folks have gotten it, I don't know if they've gotten it early from, you know, some retailers get stuff early and they offer it to certain people, uh, that's how stuff works, guys, uh, <laughs> yeah, for plugs, um, I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> And then, uh, I can't get this guy out for some reason. He's there. There he is. Uh, yeah, I agree. I, I like Soundwave 2. Um, that's something I'm gonna want. And then, as well as, uh, I want, I really want Devastator. Like, I'm dying to get the full Devastator from the movies. I know it's such a departure off what Devastator is, but I think it's still, like, an amazing looking combiner and I'm definitely gonna be getting that so I'll definitely get all the pieces for that devastator this guy looks awesome like I really like how barricade looks I don't know there's something about this character you know he's he's been very prominent throughout the movies yeah that's that's very very nice looking so very cool there let's check out sideswipe here what do I got here? Oh, the Xavier Cal thing. Actually, with these uh, Studio Series boxes, I just open them up from the bottom. I don't know if you guys have done that. 
Yeah, you know what? I've never, I never, I got a lot of Devastators, um, but I never got that, that, uh, Devastator from Combined Full Wars, which is ludicrous. Um, it just, it was out right when I got back into Transformers, and I just didn't want to spend the money on something like that at that point yet, um, and I regret it, you know? So, I mean, right now, the only thing I could get, uh, is the... Takara version, and I would, um, but that's also like 200 bucks, and I have like so much money like put into other places uh, right now. Here's Sideswipe. He looks really cool. He's another small one. Um, that's been kind of like the thing that's been a little bit of a detriment to me. Just like, you know, they've been kind of a slavish to the, the scale thing, uh, which is fine and cool. But it's made some of these, like, bots so small that, like, I mean, 20 bucks for this little guy. 20 bucks. Do you think we'll see the McFarlane toys? I think it's possible that we see the McFarlane uh, DC line stuff. Now, if you guys didn't hear, uh, McFarlane got the license to do some articulated, collector-friendly uh, DC Comics uh, figures. So they're probably going to do stuff from the movies, they said, and uh, video games. I don't know if they said comics itself, but it's possible. Uh, we'll have to see. They haven't shown anything yet. But I'm hoping they're like the Fortnite figures where they're like really super articulated and actually very good quality. Um, those figures are impressive and I wouldn't doubt that those figures open up the door for them to do uh, and get more licenses like that. I did see that they showed off their... Uh, uh, Saitama from, oh my god, I am like blanking out. One Punch Man, holy Moses, uh, earlier today. Uh, now that's something that I've known that they were doing for quite a while. I think they showed it off last year. Um, so to show it off again is weird, but they now they're boasting 22 points of articulation on it. And that original figure definitely did not have that. So I don't know if they're going back to the well on that. But anywho, here's Sideswipe. He looks awesome. He looks super awesome. I really like the way this look. He does have his blades there and all that stuff. Not going to take it out right now, but that's a really nice looking side thing. Okay. Where am I? I got one thing, and this is like, I haven't done uh, eBay like in a while. So I won something on eBay uh, at, over last weekend, and it came today, finally. Um... Nah, it's fine. It's a, almost a week. Um, so this, this, uh, how am I gonna this? There's a lot of tape on this. I appreciate the a lot of tape. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, oh my god, I just want to cut into this. Ah, yeah, there we go. So yeah, I, I want something on eBay because... Do I have it here? Well, when I got uh, this little guy, when I got this little pop here, this Conti, uh, uh, okay, um, you know, thanks for uh, checking out, David. Um, you know, when I got this little Conti here, like, it sparked my interest in getting some more figures from uh, FLCL again. And one, two figures that have always, like, kind of eluded me were the Kyoto ones from a long while back. And I finally won for cheap this, uh, Haru, 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 Haruko and her scooter, uh, with the guitars and all that, um, there's a Conti in red, which I actually won once before, and when I received it, the head fell off. So I sent that one back, and never got that one again, which is fine because I do have um, the Sentinel version, and now we just found out this week that Sentinel is going to be making more of those figures, so a new tooling of those figures, uh, which is actually very, very cool. So I don't really have to go too crazy, but... This was like Kyoto when they had like this uh, a subline called Zebek Toys. And uh, so this one, 
like, kind of had a break in the, you know, the it came up a little bit. It's definitely not open all the way. So I guess that's why pe folks stayed away from it. So, but I was able to get this cheap. So now we will do the, the rest of the honors and open this up. And so that's fine with me. Because uh, it's kind of cool to have. Cool little set. But we'll see if the figure doesn't fall apart on me like the other one did. It's really, really skinny and small. There she is. But what a cool character. If you guys have seen FLCL, she is amazing. So I really want the some representation of her. I hope like somebody like would make... This is some weird, weird figure here. I'm going to have to be very ginger. And it's also old. So... I mean, in, it's warped as all heck, you know. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to be very careful with her. But the face looks great. Like, that's pretty cool. If you've seen the anime, um, it doesn't want to focus on her. But if you've seen the anime, and we're live, so you know the stream isn't the best. Uh, <laughs> um, but you got her guitar in there and her scooter, and it all looks very nice. So I'm very happy to. There's an alternate head here, which is cool. It just fell out. Um, but I am super happy to have this and get it cheap. I'm. I also I lost out on a um, a Conti from from this line earlier this week because my computer was kind of blipping and uh, it just I just missed out on it. But cool to have this. That's awesome because I, I don't have her. Uh, I don't have any representation of her. That's awesome. Now, I got a small box from HLJ uh, a few days ago now. Or was it just yesterday? No, I think it was like two days ago now. Uh, it is three items all from the same series. Ooh, there's some 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 bonus stuff in here. Oh, they sent me a happy Valentine's Day packet. How cute is that? They got all kinds of uh, chocolates and, and stuff. I guess I ordered them the right week. <laughs> what do we got here? Some little noodle-like thingies. I think those are spicy. Some sort of choco bar. More choco bar. What else we got here? Loyal customers like you are close to our hearts. Please enjoy this little Valentine's gift from us to you. Happy Valentine's Day from Hobby Link Japan. How cute is that? That's really cool. Yeah, he's not going to get these. <laughs> Ultra Zilla Jr. gets enough of... Uh, Stuff here. I got a little heart in here. I can see it right through there. And some other... Oh, maybe this. I, I don't know what this is. It looks like gum. A little Pikachu gum. I can't show him that. Also, definitely want to eat that. Okay, so... Three little things here. Wrapped up nice. Three little piggies all wrapped up nice. Okay. And these are the latest. Ultra action figure line figures. You got Ultraman Ginga here. That looks pretty slick. We have this is one I really wanted the Ultra uh, Ultraman Zero Beyond, which was just an exclusive uh, from SH Figure Arts, and I I knew this was coming out, so I was just like, I'm just gonna wait on this. These are like 15 bucks each compared to like figure arts, which are like 50 bucks each or more. And then I have uh, a regular Ultraman X, which is very cool because I was not going to take away my Ultraman X, uh, his armor here from him. So this is the SH figure arts with the Gamora armor. So I got this regular Ultraman X to, to, to do that. Um, which is awesome. I really like this line, guys. If you are, if you haven't seen any of my reviews, I did quite a few of them last year. If you haven't seen any of my reviews, these are great budget Ultraman figures uh, that are not like uh, vinyls. They're actually articulated, um, and they are very cool. I mean, 
Let me show you Ultraman X here. Like, if you want to build, like, you don't have to get, like, and Kamen Rider does this too. Like, they do, like, budget figures as well. It's just a good way to get a lot of figures from, like, the brand without having to spend a ton of money. And this figure looks good. You know, he's got quite a bit of articulation. He doesn't look good from the back. He doesn't, you know, that's what you're sacrificing. But, like, the front, I mean, they are articulated. They have a bunch of articulation. The hands are articulated, you know. And for the price point, it's, like, it's hard to beat. Like, I love this for getting, you know, like, it's already in the past, like, six months that I've, been getting them like save me a bunch of money um on some of the figure arts i mean like first and foremost i gotta make myself happy i gotta make my wallet happy i spend a lot as you can see um and sometimes you gotta you know do stuff that's like it's, it's gonna make you happy i fill that that section without like breaking the bank and these guys really do it for me. I especially love that I have this Ultraman uh, uh, Zero Beyond, and that was just an exclusive from uh, Figure Arts. And now he's like here in this. I spent fifteen bucks on him. You know, like that to me really, really, really works. Um, you know, I just obviously I'm still gonna get Figure Arts. But I, it just, like, saves me from getting every last figure art. I could be like, mm, I didn't love that one as much. Like, didn't love that series as much. And I know a lot of people like this series, but um, Ginga, like, I, I've watched Ginga, and I wasn't, like, the hugest, hugest fan. So, this is a really nice-looking Ginga, <laughs> and I'm happy. You know, like, I don't need the, the figure arts whenever that comes out. You know, like, the figure arts, like, they're just, they're in the same scale. So it's like, I, once they're on my shelf, I can't see all the articulation. I can't see all the paint. I'm definitely not going to see the back, you know. So I could fill in you know, uh, wherever I want with these. And I think that works. So there you go. There is uh, the latest of those. I will be reviewing those, of course, um, as I have before. I got two more things left that I picked up today. Um, and those are uh, through my buddies at Muteki Sales. The link is down below, I believe. Um, I've been waiting for this stuff for quite a bit. We're gonna start out with, and these are the most expensive stuff here. The Soul of Chogokin full action Daitarn. So check that out. That's really nice. So very nice Daitarn 3. Um, this is the second full action figure that I have picked up from Soul of Chogokin. The first one was Vault S5. Uh, I skipped out on uh, Daimos because I just don't need representation of that particular super robot in my collection. I have a giant Daimos here somewhere. Um, I see my my screen is getting a little fuzzy. Uh, I hope you guys can see me okay. If anybody wants to say anything uh, to assure me that you can see me okay. I see somebody, uh, Steven said I was buffering, but I don't know if it still is. It is a little fuzzy that I see, but it's still running. It's not telling me it's bad on this end. So I'm just gonna keep going. It's better, okay. Uh, there is Diatarn looking fantastic. I want to check this out. I've been dying to check this out. Now, one of the things I'm going to be talking to Bluefin about tomorrow um, when I meet with them is because they got taken over by Bandai, we've actually had worse lag between the releases in Japan and the releases here than we've ever had, um, which is crazy, you know? So, I 
feel like those should be getting better in the coming future once they get everything together. Uh, but I don't know. And that's a big deal to me because I want to be able to get stuff from, let's say, my pals here at Muteki Sales the same time as people in Japan get their stuff. It, you know, it would be very, very nice. But there is Daitarn looking fantastic. Very, very nice looking. Like, like I said, I've wanted to get this guy for quite a while, so I'm really glad I finally have him, but it's just, it's just too long of a wait time, you know, like, I, I'm more than happy, I ordered a lot of stuff from HLJ, but I want to also be able to support my, my friend's business here, you know, and, uh, it's, it'd be nice now that they are part of Bandai to be able to get their stuff sooner, the Tamashi stuff and whatnot. Um, but we'll see how it goes. That's, that's going to be one of the questions I'm going to ask personally to Bluefin tomorrow, because I, I really need that to be better. It's, it'll, you know, as a reviewer, it's really, um, getting, and the more I do this, the more I'm like, I want to get stuff out, you know, and talk about it as soon as I can. I do get a lot. So it's like, it's hard to just navigate those waters but the more I cut into like my backlog and review and review and get through a lot of the stuff, I'll always push like new stuff to the front when I can, you know? Um, and to be able to get the stuff that I know performs well on this channel, like a lot of kaiju stuff and robot stuff, the more I want to get to that stuff, uh, I want that stuff here sooner. So, I mean, they're really doing me a disservice if I can't support my friends uh, because of that. Um, so... I really want them uh, to make that gap a little bit smaller between the Japan release time and the U.S. release time. That's very important to me. I don't know if it's important to you guys, but it is very important to me. So, what's up, Kyle? We got one more thing here to unbox. And this is really finally the Godzilla 1962 from SH Monster Arts. Oh my god, this really took a long time to come to these shores. Um, you know, that's that that's tough for me, but um, I am super happy to finally get a chance to look at this. And I think the... <laughs> yeah, I had to save my Godzilla for last. Uh, and, uh, I mean, the NECA one should be coming out, like... In about a week or so from, you know, if their shipping uh, goes according to plan. So, that'll be really cool to check out as well. Now, I've seen some people have some problems with this figure. This one in particular. But, I don't know. We'll, we shall see what I think. Right now, he looks good to me. But my light is because of the way my light was shining before. Not on me as well. Oh, I don't want it to be too bright, but... There is Godzilla. I don't know if I made it worse just now by doing that, but I just don't, don't like how that light looks right there. I just positioned it badly. Positioned myself badly, actually. Um, but here he is. And, I mean, I don't really think that looks that bad right now. Again, I'll have to examine it further, but... I actually think it looks pretty cool. So really glad to have this. I can't wait to show Ultrazilla Jr. this because he likes Godzilla vs. King Kong a lot. So uh, this is very cool. And then he's going to be like, Dad, why do you have two of them when the NECA one comes? <laughs> he's going to want one. Uh, he might have to take a NECA. Um, but we'll see because the NECA one looks really fantastic as well. But I think this little guy looks really good. So again, I don't know how well you can see him because of the light. And I think it's really fuzzy on my own uh screen uh, screen that looks really uh i almost like i always uh, almost knock the light over you guys don't know how many times i mean like out here is a lot of space but right here where i am where my desk is i'm enclosed by one thing here and another case here my desk is pretty big and i split it between my computer and uh, my review space right next to it. So everything's kind of crammed right in this area. I hope to change that sometime in the future, but I really need to organize this place a lot better than it is right now to get there. But anywho, that is Godzilla. 
that is all of the stuff that I will be unboxing here. It's It was 12 items. I thank you guys for sticking around, for letting me chat for a good 40 something minutes here. Um, but I had a lot of chat about, like I said, there's a lot of stuff already like shown for Toy Fair. There's going to be a lot of stuff shown in the next two days. Stay tuned to the channel. Stay tuned to my Instagram uh, and Facebook. It'll be all there in the next couple of days. Um, I think for me personally, I won't be sharing any more uh, links from other people in the next two days on my channel and my uh, Facebook and and Instagram, it'll be all me from here on out. Um, at least till I'm finished with what I have to do, and then uh, we'll I'll fill in the gaps from whatever I miss. I can't get I can't see everything, so you know there's gonna be a lot of stuff that I'll miss. But like I said again, show floor tomorrow. Hope to take pics and stuff of NECA, Mezco, DST, uh, DC, Funko. I forgot to mention Funko. I'll be around there. Whoever else I can see. I know Boss Fight Studios will be there. NECA, of course, I said. Um, Bluefin with Tamashi Nations. All that stuff. All those guys. And then Sunday, I will be at Hasbro's showroom. So I'll take pics of as much as I can there. And that'll be it. And I, then I'll go to sleep for a week. <laughs> no, hopefully uh, I'll be able to jump right on uh, all the reviews. But of course, right now, I have to dig myself out of all these boxes that I placed over here. Guys, thank you once again for checking out this live uh, unboxing. I'm sorry if it's choppy and stuff. It is live and uh, I'm in a basement. So sometimes it doesn't come out so good. All right. Stay tuned to the weekend. Got a lot of cool stuff.